So the garden behind me is one of five arenas around the country that this weekend that is hosting both an NBA and NHL playoff game, but it's more than just fans that are hoping for a long playoff run. The playoff banners on the street are up. Now fans are hoping for a new banner inside the TD Garden. 18's going up. It should go up this year. If it doesn't go up this year, phew, something's wrong. It's our spicy slap shot burger. As a bit of a tease, foodies are getting a sneak peek of playoff menus inside the garden. How about a sandwich for dinner? Calories don't count during the playoffs. Three foot giant cheesesteak, a big name and a big sandwich. Uh, shredded, shredded shaved beef, peppers, onions, mushrooms, and cheese sauce. It's definitely a win. Back outside, garden businesses are getting ready for a busy weekend and maybe beyond. A long playoff run can make or break a business here. It is kind of like our bread and butter. It's our favorite time of the year. Away games and home games, the fans show up. Great news for the city, great news for our teams. Between Marathon Weekend, Red the Sox. Red Sox home this week, and now on the doorstep of a Bruins Celtics playoff weekend, businesses know this is the time to capitalize on a sports crazed city. Having this is sort of the icing on the cake for that. And, you know, as we get into May, if these if these um, playoffs progress, then we're gonna really feel a, a huge swell of, of visitation here in Boston. Now, depending how both the Celtics and Bruins do in these playoff runs, it all comes down to money. We are told that a semifinal game and a championship game can bring as much as $5 million per game to Boston businesses. We're live outside the garden. I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, News Center 5.